Hello. All right. What is going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. And yes, update 27 came out um, today, which caught me off guard. I actually, um, you know, going through the patch notes and stuff and the way they had the the login requirements from the 25th to the the first and stuff. I, I was like, for sure, you know, it's going to come out at the end of the month. But man, there it is. Update 27 is already live. Um I already posted for those people that are coming in afterwards um, in the chat what this update does consist. But uh, we got the new Halloween masks. They fixed the um, catapulting vehicles where you repair your car. It goes flinging up in the air. Um, dead play carts now show up on the map, which that's going to be great for us. And you guys will see why once we load in. Um, the They improve the amount of trunk space, uh, not by actually increasing the actual slots, but how much stuff can go into each slot has been doubled. Uh, we got, the, you know, obviously the, the new Halloween masks, which we're going to check out, and all of the old Halloween uh, stuff is now available for you guys if you didn't get it before. But hello, how is everybody doing tonight? I do appreciate you guys coming. I know it's kind of a surprise last minute stream. Like I said, I didn't even plan on doing it. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Somebody, what Matt is saying that they nerfed the freaking Offspree from 60 rounds down to 30. No, no, no. That was my favorite gun, man. Let's go check this out. And I want to know why. Maybe it was a, I mean, I guarantee when I ask the devs about it, they're going to say it was a bug and it wasn't supposed to be, um, 60 rounds but that gun was my favorite gun in the game yeah i'm checking the osprey right now i actually think my survivor has it equipped on her back anemic wong what is going on dj nitro i am doing good all right now mine still has 61 rounds dude oh they did nerf it Oh, but because mine already had the bullets in it, it just is going to keep the bullets in it. But yeah, when I reload this gun, it's going to drop back down to 30. Why did they do that? I mean, that was everything cool about this gun. It held 61 bullets, had max durability. Oh. Uh. Well, there goes that, guys. There, yeah, the offspring is now nerfed. Um, it, it was, it was so good. It was so good. Um, man. Well, time to hang. The, let's retire it for now. We had a good run. Uh, it's time to hop back on the GSTW. Uh. Which is was my old favorite rifle, um, but this one does have a better zoom. Uh, but it's kind of unfortunate that they they nerfed it. Oh, I'm blowing Jeffrey up in the next stream. I'm gonna be like, why? All right, so um, as you guys know, I am currently running the Blood Plague immunity build in this community but uh first things first let's get some ammo going i i already loaded up the map wanted to see if uh update 27 was live and it's definitely live and uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys here and now actually let's swap characters i was i just used this character in my uh guide video i did the other night so she's gonna get tired oh i'm so butthurt Um, Hippo, yes, that is a great gun, and it holds so much ammo. Um, the only problem is it breaks really, really fast. Roaches, what is up, man? Uh, all right, it is what it is. Um, so who are we going to take out? I think I want to take out one of my red talons. Um, eh... We need to level up one of our red. We, yeah, we we need to start leveling these guys up. Heather, that is amazing news. Congratulations! Oh, the I, the bolt action. I thought you were talking about the um the uh, preppers ten twenty two. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. That 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 gun's pretty good. The only thing is, it it, it doesn't hold. 
that much ammo. I think you're talking about, uh, where is it? I have one of them somewhere. Well, I thought I had one. Maybe I don't have it on this community. I thought, I could swear I had one though. The Echo S2? Guess not. Um, yeah, so I'm back to running a GSGW right now. They're not as durable, but, uh, it is more accurate, has more, uh, range. Uh, we are really, really low on meds, so we're actually going to take this episode to, um, to kind of build up our med supply. Discount, what is going on? S66, how are you? Guys, thank you so much, everybody, for popping in tonight. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, really, really bad news, Matt, that you brought. That was my favorite gun, man. My favorite gun. Um, we don't really need play cures because we are running the Plague Immunity build, which how long do we have left on that? Let me check. Uh, where do you see that? The active effects, right? Yeah, so we got another 40 minutes or so with uh, Plague Immunity. Um... And I'm going to grab a little bit of extra 5, uh, nine, 9 millimeter. And yeah, so uh, we're all good there. I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about. So update. Now, this is what I meant, guys. I'm terrible at looting plague hearts. And as you can see, all of the plague hearts are now on the map. They show the husks. <laughs> and <laughs> mine is very, very extreme. Um, I think we have an extreme case of the Plague Heart bodies showing up here. So as you guys can see, though, it now shows you what is remaining. And that's actually what we're about to go do. We're about to go take the Bandito, and we're going to drive around. I have rucksacks all over the map. Like, these Plague Hearts have not even been looted at all. So I'm going to go up here. We're going to loot these Plague Hearts out, and we're going to try to get these resources. Because there's just so many resources that are just laying around the map right now, and uh, that that's not good, so... Uh, so yeah, we got that, but I also have a bunch of infestations that spawned in while I was doing my guide and obviously I was in the middle of a guide, so I couldn't go clear them out, but, uh, we are going to, these are max size. This is a max size infestation. I haven't had one of those in so long, but, uh, yeah, let's head up to Fairfield with our Vandito and see if we can, uh, get some looting done. So if you want tips on getting food, um, the best ways to get food, uh, I actually, this is all I'm running for food right now, is I have one level three garden. All right. Mm. GG, Dracos. <laughs> Dracos White Wolf donated $10. Cackles happily from the shadows at work. Ico is making sure Sod 2 US updated. So I can... Start hunting for the no breaks Bernard on the next day off. Hope you and Crystal and everyone else is doing great. Hey, Dracos, thank you so much, man. Yeah, so um, they Jeffrey Card added a nickname in the game for me. It's uh, no breaks Menard. So if one of you guys do roll that nickname, hey, please send me a picture of it in the Discord. That shit would be so hilarious. Um, but don't sit there and spend, you know, a ridiculous amount of time trying to get it but uh if one of you guys do happen to get it yeah please uh post that that'd be awesome but all i'm running for food is i have one level three garden uh i'm seeding it periodically and i ru i'm running a compost bin and that's giving me nine food a day this one garden nine food a day which is a good amount and then i have uh, a level three food outpost here that's giving me another six i have a level two food outpost that's giving me another four and then i got another one so uh outposts are a really good source of food oh but thank you so much all right so let's uh let's head out um yes yeah, so like i said we're gonna start up here in fairfield Connor, you just got the game. I Whoa, look how squirrely. What is going on here? No breaks. Reroll. Yeah, shit. It'll probably take more. It'll probably take forever to roll that nickname. All right, I haven't, I haven't brought this baby out in a long time. Let me actually, I, I just checked the back. I think it's empty. Intern, no, it's not. Why do I have so many materials? 
I, I was short on materials when I was doing... <laughs> when I... Mm. Holy shit, Jason Knight, dude. No way, man. Jason Knight donated $50. Dude, that is way too much. Thank you so much, man. Holy crap. Guys, hearts in the chat. For Dracos and Jason. Guys, you guys are amazing. I really do appreciate that. That's really good, Ashton. Alright, yeah, I gotta drop these materials before we take off. Dude, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, man. Damn it. Oh, yeah, we got Haven. There, our Haven device is over here. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to deposit that. All right. Yeah, we're a little bit over on materials, but that's fine. Um, Andy, with the sub, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. So, uh, let me know, guys, in the chat. What are you guys thinking so far, Update 27? I am... Uh, the, the thing I was most excited about is the... Um, the Plague Heart Husk, because as you guys can see, I'm, I'm really terrible, and I always forget where my damn Plague Hearts are, so. But for those of you guys who are now coming into State of Decay, definitely um, put your, you know, buck everybody that plays this game, um, buckle your seatbelts, because uh, there's a lot more that's still going to be coming into this game, and uh, from... What it seems like, you know, the dev, the devs and, like, their angle. There's nothing that's been promised, no, you know, t anything. But you can just tell by their enthusiasm, their enthusiasm and, um, you know, like, Jeffrey Card, some of the, the ideas and the passion that they still have for this game. There's so much more coming, guys, um, that I really think is still going to be, like, game-changing updates. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, actually, um, the Halloween masks are out right now, Brendan. Um, thank you for saying something. Let's actually look at those really quick. Uh, how the hell do I get in the closet? All right. So, let's see. Whoa, nope. That, I, did, I did just unlock this, though. But uh, that's not what we're looking at. Hockey mask. No, they're not unlocked. Okay. So, up. Let's, let's, let's recorrect the hockey masks are not out is that a bug because they totally said in the thing mask up that the masks and everything were available but they're they're not yet it still says october 25th they'll become unlocked and super with the sub thank you so much yeah, so the masks are not available, but in the patch notes, uh, once I get up here to an outpost, I have an outpost up here somewhere, right? Um, I'm going to park. I'm going to log out to that. Okay, so yeah, it's still October 25th, guys. Okay. Still the October 25th. Okay, area seems still pretty clear. Look at that. Zombies were already spawned in when we walked on the porch. That is a mid Jeremy Hamilton as your character rolled through the radio. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. One of the bugs that I noticed... In in the beta, I still am noticing it right now. Um, there's like a delay between when I hit dodge and when my character dodges. It's like a like a split second. But like I'm now, and you see now, now. Like when I say now is when I'm actually pushing the button. Um, let me see really quick. Let me see if I can change something. 
if that fixes it. Because that, that's not the standard. We can't do that. Uh, remap controls. And I think it's because I used the dodge cr crouch uh, hold. So we'll leave dodge C. Right? And I'm going to make crouch... Um, man, this is going to be tough because I've been playing this game for years with the same controls. Um, oh, jeez. We'll try that. Okay, so the dodge crouch um, combination is bugged. Because now my dodge is perfect, but um, if you have the dodge crouch combination, um, it's bugged. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to this new button for crouch. It's probably going to take me a couple months, honestly, but. Guru, what is up, man? So yeah, indoor spawns have been fixed, which is pretty awesome. No sign of a threat. All right, so let's see what this play card has. We're definitely gonna grab the samples because uh, I'm gonna actually gonna start producing. Um, and I, we could just scrap all this. I have an outpost by here, so. Um, Damn it. See, I'm so used to using that button to stand back up. <laughs> Let's go. It is going to be bad. And you can... I can literally hear the zombies already in this shed. And I haven't even gone inside, which is awesome. Which is a good change. Who are the people who downed the video? Oh, like disliked? Oh, Gary. Yeah, we got I, I got some super fans, man, that literally they, they like sit there all day. Like they have nothing better to do with their lives. So they sit there and they they're either scout they're either stalking the Discord or they're stalking my uh just my they're like subscribed and they're just like waiting. And they wait for me to post videos so they can dislike it. It's like it's super flattering that people care that much though. Oh, this is my outpost. Why am I? I'm like trying to clear out the 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 building, and it's already clear. So, but yeah, we don't we don't worry about them. We don't worry about them. If we don't deal with these infestations, we're just inviting an attack. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna deal with it, man. We're gonna have like ten infestations to clear out by the time this is all said and done. So Ichigo, hey, I posted right there a small description um, of what's in the update. If you want the full thing, I actually have a video um, that I put out explaining every little detail that is in update 27. Um, I, I I don't have any mods. Oh, Crystal's here. I don't know if she could post it. Over, I think she was with the baby. Let me squish this dude. Yeah, th thumbs up, thumbs up. And that's the thing, guys, is dislikes don't, they don't matter. The only thing that they, they really affect is, like, you as a viewer, when you go onto a video, um, it, the dislikes are there to allow, yep, see, I'm, this is going to mess me up, my crouching. Um, they're there to allow people to know, okay, you know, if I go on a video and I see that the video has more dislikes than likes, you know, say it's got, like, 700 likes and, you know, 500 dislikes, you know, I know, like, or, you know, 2,000 dislikes. I'm like, okay, you know, either A, this video is clickbait, um, and that's why so many people are... It, it just gives you information as a viewer um, on what is up with that video. But when you... It's... What? Do you guys see this? It's locked on the inside, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it shows the destroyed play hearts on the map now. So now we can just go back to those locations and get loot, which is what we're doing right now because I have um, probably about 20 unlooted play cards on my map right now. <laughs> uh, my Discord link should be in the description. 
Um, I have it. I have it posted down there uh, for you guys. Majesty, that that that's insane to even think about. All right, so we already hit two hearts. We got actually two ammo rucks. We got a meds ruck right there, which is cool. And that one doesn't have any rucks. So let's definitely go get those meds. Have you thought about um, horizontally flipping your cam? Uh, well, see, like you're talking like if I were to do my cam like this. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, man. Um, I, I would have to find a way to like hold my camera up because I got a really cheap like booty webcam um so yeah I, I I would have to look into how to set that up but I have a very unorthodox setup because I don't have a whole lot of space <laughs> so I kind of just fit it where I can fit it Caspi what is up man oh flip it in OBS I I'll, I'll I will look into that intern that that I do appreciate you. Uh, yeah, you can hear the zombies already. Uh, we still have plague immunity, so we don't have to. Whoa, there, Sway. There it is. Another Gladius. We got a Cody. Michael, what is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to flip the physical cam. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go check that out. I didn't. I, I've never even uh, looked into doing anything like that. Barrel, look out. Go Goldberg. Nope, you missed, bruh. Headshot. Headshot. Holy shit. There's a lot of zombies. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies coming. Oh my god! Why is there so many armored zombies? Oh, where's my revolvers? Oh, I think did I got one. I, or did I already put it in my locker? I see a screamer. Move, dude. Damn it! I already put it away. Oh, this guy has gunslinging. He has gunslinging. Alright, how do I want to deal with this? How do I want to deal with this, guys? Immune to blood plague, baby. Terrific. Trying to assassinate these uh, armored zombies. There it is.
Well spent. Got no stamina items. Drop the thing, bro. There you go. I'm surprised that dude didn't lunge at me yet. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I, I was trying to crouch, but I changed my crouch button. So now I don't know how to crouch or stand back up. <laughs> there we go. Like, usually they lunge at you. Like that, yeah. And then get Oh, that dude stood up super fast. Man, these dudes just never stop. All right, we're good. Yo, it was it was so many freaking armored zombies. Like, if it was just normal zombies, I would have just threw some fire on them and called it a day. But there was it was literally just littered with armored zombies. At least we know where to come to finish off our our armored zombie little mission there. Our bounty man. If I'd have brought a revolver with me, I would have been so good. Tell the fuck they what is going on. Where'd I drop my bastard belt? There it is. Yeah, so we're out of stamina items, so we just gotta be a little careful. We can breathe. No more Zeds in sight. Nice. It's gonna Oh, look at this! Oh now we got a freaking uh revolver. That's six more armored zombies, though, that we could potentially get. B-Boy, what is up, man? How have you been? I have not played Cyberpunk yet. Uh, I do plan on playing it one day, though. Um, I, 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 Yeah, it was because it's an army area, I think. Maybe that's why there was so many armored zombies up here. Because, yeah, you can't even see. There's still more down there. And, yeah, there's more, like, coming in. I think we're going to come back up here um, at some point and deal with, uh, finish up our bounty. 137 likes already, guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, hey, smash that like button. It really, really does help out. And if you are new to the channel and you want to show some support, hey, consider subscribing. Um, it really, really does mean a lot to me. And again, I really do appreciate everybody who's come in today and hung out so far. So, yeah. Um, if you guys are using the combination of dodge and crouch, it does seem bugged right now. Monet, congrats. On lethal what on what difficulty, Monet? Not that it matters. I mean legacy and period is is uh quite the feat, so uh we're gonna yeah, let's grab some stamina items and you know, we really, really are short on meds. Let's 
Cyberpunk is trash. I know it had a really bad launch. Um, but I, I know some people have been telling me that the game has gotten a lot better since it came out. Hey, and that's all that matters. It, yeah, it doesn't matter whether you legacy on lethal or you legacy on standard. The fact is you're, you're legacy in, and that's all that matters. But, hey, getting all four done, that is what's up. Let's go get this other meds rucksack. So this update, um, I have it posted there in the pinned comment. Um, that I kind of go over all of the highlights there. So if you guys want to know what's, uh, you know, kind of the big, you know, table talk of update 27, it's there in the pinned comment. Um, but it was a, it was mainly a quality of life um, improvement. Keep that mouth shut. Okay, where the hell is this? Okay, it's across the bridge here. See, it's like the thing about um, you know CD Projekt Red is like. I haven't played uh, Cyberpunk yet, so I don't, you know, I don't know that betrayal. I don't know how bad the game really came out or how bad it is. Um, but the thing about CD Projekt Red is, like, no matter how much they messed up, uh, what you call it, um, Cyberpunk, it's like The Witcher Three is just the most amazing game in the history of ever. You know, so for me, it's like. Uh, I, I can't hate them, hate them, you know what I mean? Because they did give me the Witcher. Oh, just walked in and the whole posse is standing, standing here. Yeah, so the indoor spawns are definitely fixed. All right, so we're probably going to get some feral action here. Yep. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of feral action, actually. Holy crap. Once more in this history. That was my last shot. Why would it be your last shot, dude? We need at least one more shot, man. We need one more shot, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so there's only one armored zombie in this equation. Uh, so we're good. What did that hit? It's a damn screamer. Should have been one more feral. Yo, the zo amount of zombies around is a, a lot higher now because all of the buildings are, well, that was a good, that was a good firebomb, are like pre-spawning in the zombies. So there's just zombies everywhere now. And they're just pouring out of buildings. That's awesome. Good shot. You can literally hear them banging on the doors, it's like trying to get out. That's so awesome. A discount. What did you ask, man? I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't see it, bro. It's like. Black Fever, Zeds, uh, no, yeah, so Black Fever doesn't exist in State of K2. Black Fever kind of turned into, um, Blood Plague, I think, um, but I, I don't know exactly. Black Fever was, uh, kind of like the Blood Plague of State of Decay 1. No, no, so we get, this guy is a diehard veteran, but they never, they didn't get rid of diehard veteran. You can still get it. They just got rid of the, um... Oh. There's a feral nearby. Once more in his history. 
Kinda wish I didn't have this med rucksack on my back. That'd make getting mauled by pharaohs a lot. Headshot, headshot. Oh, Bill Goldberg! Time to reload. Once more in this history. There we go. It'd be a lot easier if I didn't have a med ruck on my back. Yeah, it might have been a bug discount. Yeah, because there's no uh, black fever in SOD2. Yo, my pistol's about to break, actually. I forgot I had gunslinging. I, I probably would. Well, I actually, if I would have used gunslinging right there, I probably would have got killed. Only because I would have been burning through my stamina. And, uh,. Yeah, gunslinging uses up a lot of stamina. So we got all of these play cards pretty much. Until we get more storage in this place, we're gonna keep losing shit like this. Did you know you can now throw rucksacks? Creator, no way, dude. How? That's not a thing. Noah, what is up, man? <laughs> Metal, I'm not even that good, man. I just get lucky. I've come to the conclusion I get I just get lucky. Alright, let's go drop this stuff off and uh rearm. Oh <laughs> Universal like, yo, I was lying, dude. Yo, that would be so cool if you could just like quickly drop your uh your rucksack. In a situation like that. Boom man from the Philippines, how are you? I do I do got that streamer luck, you know what I mean, guys? Yeah, there's no throwing the ruck. It, it would yeah, just chuck it at a zombie. I've never played the Division 2. I only played a little bit of the first the Divi Division game. I never played uh, any of the second one, though. Uh, I explained this actually in one of my pr recent streams on the reason why I don't really play the Division. I, um, I started it, and you know, me coming from games like Splinter Cell, um, you know, State of Decay, uh, Ghost Recon games like that were realistic military shooters. I was like, man, this is gonna be like, you know, a realistic military shooter set in an apocalyptic time. I was like, this is great. Um, and then I started playing, and this was back when I really didn't know much about looter shooters. You know what I mean? That that was kind of a new concept to me. And uh, I, I started playing, and I I, I I forgot what it was. I, I it was like my first bad guy. I, I sat there and I I, I dumped a clip into him, like a whole clip. To brrr, and and the man wasn't dead, and I was like, "Hmm, that was weird," you know. So then I go and I start dumping clips in the guy's faces, and they're not dying. And I'm like, "Man, I'm used to games where you shoot somebody in the face and they die," you know. And um, so that just bothered me a little bit. I, I couldn't get over the bullet sponginess of the the NPCs, even though I understand in a, in a, in a game like that, it makes sense. Um, at the time, I just wasn't used to that, that style. So I'm pretty sure if I went into the game now, knowing that is just how the game is, I'd probably have a better time with it. Slick knife. What is going on? I actually am a, I own Arma three. It is one of my favorite games. So we're going to take Lily here. We're going to head out and clear out these infestations. Things are looking good. You found a character named Crystal Menard? Yo, cl clip that and put it in the Discord. What? Yeah, somebody said they found someone with your name too. Uh, Rayhorn, which uh, Walking Dead are you talking about? The um, like the VR Walking Dead? 
Um, let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna arm up for this. Let's grab our echo shotgun. So I was showcasing this shotgun a few streams back, and uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, this shotgun is pure insanity. And uh, I'm gonna showcase it again today so you guys can see uh, just what it's all about. Let's see if we can get some. S yeah, let's get our water turned on. Uh, I was actually thinking about getting a water outpost. Um, I was going to probably get rid of this ammo, get a water outpost, and uh, get rid of this still. Let's check our buffs, make sure we're good. Okay, so that primary carry is going to fall off here sh shortly. And, yeah, we'll, we'll repair this. So it seems like I'm blowing through stamina pretty quick. Uh, we're going to craft up a bunch of these. No, oh, no, we're not. We're actually out of chemicals. That stinks. Um, so another change that I hope to see one day, I, Jeffrey Card actually complained about it on his own stream, um, which I'm like, man, if Jeffrey's complaining about it, maybe there's a, a chance that it might get changed one day. Is you know how when you go into your, your stuff and you, you craft something, how it will kick you back to the main menu? Jeffrey was like, man, I wish when you crafted something, like you could stay there and craft it again. So I'm like, yo, I wonder if one day they will make a change to where you can literally sit here and just click, you know, multiple times. What's up, Carol? All right, so we're going to take that. We're going to grab that. Uh, we're going to grab a sword. I, I want a, a nice, durable melee weapon for her. Uh, we're going to grab some fire. And... I think that should be all we need. So we're going on a infestation clearing mission here. If you guys can see, I got a ton of infestations on my map. Two max size... Um, I haven't seen infestations like this in a really, really long time. Uh, I'm usually on top of them. But, uh, yeah. Any Not right now. Folks out there wanna come over and give me a hand? Uh, no, I, I, I've hit like 500 viewers in a stream before, but this is a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I do really appreciate it, guys. If you haven't already, hey, smash that like button. I really do appreciate all you guys popping in and hanging out. And if you are new to the channel, hey, please consider subscribing. Um, so already, I, I really am enjoying the indoor spawn changes. The indoor spawn changes are affecting the outdoor spawns because all of the zombies are just running outside, banging the doors down, and then you got to deal with them. Richard Robbins, what is up, man? How are you? So, I, I looked into the Shadow of Mordor, and that game looks sick as hell. Um, I'm really, really surprised I never played it. Um, now that we've gotten rid of some of these infestations. What? Don't do me like this. Unbearded veteran, hardened survivor, six months. Love the content, helps you get through the workday. Appreciate it. Semper Fi, brother. I really do appreciate that. Guru with the 12 months, man, at a veteran survivor. That is love. Look at that. 12 months infestations will be fun. Hey, man, I really do appreciate that. Seriously. So we still do have zombies spawning outside. All right, so this shotgun, guys, is a suppressed shotgun. Um, and it shreds. It's, it's, it just straight shreds zombies. And clear. Oh, there was a play cart in there. Look at that. And it has meds. This is the Echo S3. Uh, I've been playing State of K2 since release. Um, yeah, I, I, I've been playing for quite a while. Chris, <laughs> look at the wife with the 16 months. Jesus. All right, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. That. B-Boy with the 11 months. Jeez, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, this is a very, very good shotgun. Um, you can get it once the Trumbull Valley pack um, goes live again. Um, but if you don't want to wait 
for the Trumbull Valley pack. Mine isn't the Trumbull Valley version. Mine is the Heartland version. So all you have to do is you load into Heartland, um, drive around the map, loot all the military locations. You'll have a chance at getting you know all of the Echo guns. And all you have to do is have a friend or somebody like that log into your game, trade them the guns, then log out, go on your main community, and just have them trade it back to you. And uh, that's how you can get the Heartland guns into your uh, main game. Um, you become a channel member by just hitting the join button. Yeah, you smash the join button. Um, there's a bunch of different tiers. The lowest tier is not expensive at all. It's only like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Um, but anything helps out. Uh, definitely on the goal to becoming a full-time YouTuber. Um, the members, you guys really do uh, make dreams come true. You guys really don't understand how much it really helps. Scott Pews with the sub. I do appreciate that. And just subscribing to the channel, guys. If you're not subscribed, that... That alone is enough in itself uh, when it comes to helping me out. All right, discount A. Andy Pimps for president, right? I appreciate you hanging out, dude. Um, so, you, <laughs> I know it said friends. I haven't looted any of those yet. Uh, if, if you guys are having trouble, like you don't know anybody IRL that plays this game and you are having trouble with, um, you know, maybe having a trade partner, join my Discord. There's plenty of people in my Discord, guys, that will assist you, help you. If I'm online, you know, and I see you guys asking, I'll try to help you out if I'm, you know, available. But yeah, definitely uh, join the Discord. Yeah, we're gonna get that. So many rucksacks. I can't believe how many rucks I left in play cards. Like, it took this update to show me how bad I am at looting. Like, and I call myself a loot goblin. So as you guys can see, zombies are already inside. I heard them. Uh, this trench tool is one of my favorite melee weapons. Uh, it's a very, very... Um, Durable bladed weapon and bladed weapons tend to be uh, whoa, that was nice Tend to be pretty uh, Fragile, but this one is very very durable and it actually hits really hard. I get a lot of one hits with it We still have some creepers here All right Pogchamp, I am doing good. How about yourself? Um, yeah, we'll grab that for scrap. Yes, I am the guy in the stronghold. <laughs> that is me. So this shotgun is really good against ferals too, guys. That was a good shot. That was a better shot. There's a feral coming in. The armor's gone. Like you can't miss. You know what I mean? Snoogan, how have you been? It has been a little while. I do appreciate you for popping in. Now this is gonna suck because there's gonna be three screamers. Um I haven't dealt with a three screamer infestation in a little bit. You're a true loot goblin. See, Richard, I wish I was like that, man. I, uh, I'm, go, yeah, I'm constantly scrapping stuff that I don't need. Nuno with the sub, thank you so much. A cup, how are you, dude? <laughs> PMC, <laughs> give me that shotgun. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> the ice axe is very, very durable. The only, I'm, I'm still waiting for that pack to come back, bars. It didn't kill him. Time to reload. Now the thing I like about pump action shotguns is you could just load one bullet into it if you need to. And uh, shoot. 
compared to other guns where you have to do a full reload. Time to reload. If I had somebody with sharpshooting right now, man, I'd be just destroying the sword. I don't think she has sharpshooting though. I think she has assault. Oh man, did you guys see this craziness? So the spawns have definitely been turned up quite a bit. All right, let's stop wasting time. We're gonna just dodge through these guys, get them all bunched up, nice, nice. Uh, preferably away from the van, though. There we go. Should get pretty much all of them. With these infestations cleared away, we can rest a lot easier. All right, let's see. Any of these play cards had materials or rucks in them? Nope. So it seems like we got the resources out of these ones. This one has another ammo rucksack. Jesus, James with the sub. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my recent video I just posted, make sure you guys check it out. I teach you how to make all of your survivors unbreakable blood plague survivors. Um, and how many meds do we have right now? I'm actually going to activate it right now. So, this is going to make all of my survivors immune to blood plague and immune to taking damage. Usually, hey, that's a good strat. That was that was meta battle in SOD1. That was like the meta strat for infestations. Um, was just honking your horn and just running them over when they came out. I got hostiles nearby. I didn't even check. Oh, them guys? Oof. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, no injuries. You don't take any injuries. No injuries or blood plague at all. I, I Yeah, I mean, I'll fight these hostiles right here just to show you. I, I'll fight some hostiles. Why not, right? I'll show you guys how. I, I Usually, uh, there's different ways to do it, but uh, I actually have a, a, a specific way I'm going to do it myself. Now, this is not meta or ideal. Uh, the best way for me to do it, it would be go in there with uh, some bloater gas. Just throw it at them. But, uh... We'll duke it out with the hostiles. We're gonna duke it out. I did get this gun, and I wanna, I wanna give it a whirl. I, I haven't really used it. I got the... I should take that screamer out from a distance. My question is, does the Cleo Heavy Sniper one-shot human enemies? Um, I got the gas launcher off of a NPC. That's pretty much the only way I know of getting it. Um, you get it off of a, either a dead NPC. Um, and I think you might be able to get it from a trade or two, but I, I don't know exactly. Okay, so we got bullets. We got that. I will bring first aid kits, even though I'm, I know I'm not going to... I can't take permanent damage right now because I'm immune to injuries. So the worst thing these hostiles can do to me is just shoot my health away. Um, but they will not be able to actually take away permanent health. Fuck off. We're not buying what you're selling. Oh, yeah? Are you going to come out here and say that? You going to come out here and say it? Hey. Sway Bay. It does. It does. Mm, I could fight those zombies, but there would be no reason to do it. Yeah, I hope they don't have a tire iron, right? <laughs> but look at these spawns. That is awesome. That is really, really nice.
Yo, that tire iron to my face. That was that was harsh. That was a bad that was a bad day for me. That was a really bad day. That was a great stream though. I had a lot of fun that day. Alright, let's grab our shotgun back out. And we will rearm with bullets. The reason why I'm using shotgun so much now too is because it's like the I have the most bullets for it. So that sniper is one of the daybreak snipers, but you can do that with any 50 cal in the game, guys. You can one shot. Uh, this is lethal zone, so the hostiles are very, very tanky. Um, but you can one shot them in the head with a 50 cal in lethal zone. All right. So I get the um the I have it linked in the description if you guys want to know how to make all of your survivors unbreakable and immune to blood plague it is a setup um and I go through it, uh, how to do it and how to set up so it's not a freebie and you do have to spend a decent amount of meds every day but um I, I show you guys my setup and how I have it done but yeah it's where is that. But the video's linked in the description. No sign of creepers here. All right, we'll get That's these. Oh, another 1022. I like it. Um, I guess it's daytime. I didn't do a good job showcasing it because it was nighttime, and I didn't want to. I couldn't wait <laughs> um, when I was making that video. So I guess. I could show you guys the plague resistance. Um, damn, I wish I didn't kill that bloater. I hope he's still here. Did he disintegrate? Yeah, he disintegrated. I'm trying to see if I could see a screamer. Grand with the... With the membership, welcome to the family. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Right, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so he'll work. Um, so as you guys know, plague furrows do tons of, of plague damage when they hit you. Come on, dude, you're, you're not doing a good job right now. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm not taking any. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on one sec. Something is abyss here. Uh, uh, something is uh, is weird. Let me, let me make sure I have my uh, both active. Unle Did they just patch it today? 50%. Fi oh! They patched it, guys. <laughs> All right. So, um... Now, as you guys can see, this only gives 35%. Now, I don't know if it would change if I use a level um, a level 3 um, infirmary. I think it might just... Now, hey, it might just be because this is a built-in infirmary. The only way to tell is, does anybody have um, a level three infirmary and uh but yeah i would have to test it out hippo no injury no last stand instant death if headshot yo hey hippo the 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 enemies on, even on pc dude they have they have aimbot it's ridiculous um yeah so i i gotta they just they literally just changed that because i made that video yesterday and um the refugee center gave 50 percent Uh, we won't know though until our our buff falls off, and I'll I'll be able to see if uh, if it still gives a hundred percent or if it gives fifty percent. When did he say that? I just asked him two days ago, and he said that they weren't going to patch it.
Yeah, so they must have made it so if you activate primary care, somehow it limits the other primary care option. You got more than a survivor cap? So you're not the first person. I've actually seen a couple people say that, that they got up to 13 survivors. Yeah, I, he said he was going to patch it, Richard, and then I asked him like two days ago, and he said no, that he talked with Joe Swarner, and they said that they weren't going to patch it. Yeah, seven, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm, it, well, it's 85%. 85% plague resistance and injury resistance is still insane. You know what I mean? Um... But it's not, you know, 100%. <laughs> so right now, um, as it is, I can't get 100%, but I have 35% here and 50% here. So I'm still at 85%. Yeah, they must have changed their minds. Probably because I put the video out. <laughs> Nah, somebody brought it to their attention last week. Um, I know, and that's why I went and I tried telling Jeffrey. I was like, oh, don't worry. Are you guys going to nerf that? But he did say no. So we still have another ammo ruck over there. A meds ruck. There we go. Guys, I'm so bad at looting. It's crazy. 100% is, oh, it is, it is powerful. It is really, really strong. Um, I'm not going to say and act like it isn't. Uh, we don't need the bandito anymore. So any of the OP stuff, guys, I'm just going to not talk about any more in videos. Because uh, we don't we don't want it to get... Uh, we'll, we'll bring the other car. My other car actually has bigger storage. Hey, folks, I'm back. But then it's like, how do, how do I how do, how do how do I tell you guys? Well, it'll have to be in Discord or something. <laughs> Alright, let's head up and deal with these last two infestations. I am loving this Plague Heart uh, change. It's so good. It, it, it was pretty cheese. But like I said, 85% is still really, really high. You know what I mean? That means more times than not, when you get hit, you're not going to take plague damage. Jonathan, I think we were due for an update for State of K3. No, um, no, I think we'll get. We'll start hearing about State of K3. Um, they started really talking about State of K2. It was about a year and a half before. No, it was about a year before the game came out um, when they started really releasing information. We'll get we'll get this ruck really quick before we head up to these infestations. Guys, thank you so much for all the super chats too. I really do appreciate it. You guys are showing mega love to Whoa! On purpose. Yeah, 80 yeah, 80% because this is 85% on lethal zone. And it, it's really, really effective, so. I still want to go stand in bloater smoke and see how much damage it does to me. That's pretty heavy. Right, and... Leave the rest of that for now. Yeah, I teach that in the Menard School of Driving. It's, if you guys want to sign up and come and learn how to drive, I got you. I'm not saying you'll learn how to drive well, but I'm just saying you'll learn, you'll learn, some, you'll learn some stuff. One more until 250 likes, guys. Thank you so much. Seriously, I really do appreciate it. Hey, even if I'm driving the short bus, it's still a bus. 
It's still a bus. Alright, so this is going to be a little... Hopefully these don't despawn. Because I really, really want to... Uh, see how messy this gets with two. Um, max size infestations pretty much... Uh, now nah, they're still a little far apart. I don't think they'll feed off each other. Does that sound like the bounty broker? Watch out, Feral. Where? Oh, there's a survivor in this house. That was a good throw. And when I meant it was a good throw, it was a terrible throw. <laughs> Metal. <laughs> I'm an honor roll in the Brian School. <laughs> okay, go for like you literally just can't miss with the shotgun against barrels. It's awesome. <laughs> I do appreciate that metal. Thank you so much, man. Hey. Still five zombies in here. Come and fight me, guys. That should be it for this one. Yeah, survivors are immune to friendly fire. Yep, you can't burn them, you can't shoot them, you can't hurt them in any way, shape, or form. Hey, Crypt, hey, don't worry about it. Go enjoy the uh, other parts of the series. I do appreciate you popping in and saying what's up, though, man. Uh, I don't want to burn him. That won't be fun. God Factor, you started another channel for, um, oh shit, was it for the story? Well, infestation is growing. Dude, thank you so much. Oh, I can't read it. Hold on. I don't think so. 
Still a screamer somewhere. You can blow to gas survivors though. Yeah, you can. Oh, you but does it actually hurt them? I know they'll like, you know, act like they're hurt, but I don't know if it actually does damage to them. That'd be crazy. He's like, I'll find out, dude. <laughs> you know what's crazy, guys, is um, I put out my uh, my melee combat guide, right? For because I wanted people to understand, like, because I have so many people that ask me all the time, you know, about my fighting style and state of decay and how I do, you know, the grab and push and how I like CC zombies and stuff like that. And I put out those guides because I wanted to teach. You know people how to do it but it, i guess it, it's really really cool to see how many people actually are enjoying that uh like that fighting style it's to the point where i see even other content creators that never ever used that before you know uh, so many content creators are even starting to use that um that method and it, it's just really cool to see uh so many people that are, are actually enjoying uh fighting like that Okay, so I think we might have hit all of the play cards except this one. Just saw this was on. Been binge watching my state. Uh, Tealy, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is I've had so many people message, you know, in comments and say, hey, you know, this has helped me, you know, Go from playing in dread to playing in nightmare, and it's like, man, that that's that's really awesome. Long haul, what is going on? Get that last play card. <laughs> that's so funny how the um, the closed captions say play play cart or play card. Yeah, I'm using the e tool. E tool is very very good uh, bladed weapon. It's it's very very durable. <laughs> the grab and push is meta now because of me. Jack Ryan, thank you so much for the kind words, and I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Huh? He sent the screen. Huh? He said he sent. To me? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah, I suck at everything. <laughs> She's got people I skills though. It. But that's the one thing I don't have in real life. Like now nah, you got people skills. Don't don't play yourself. <laughs> Almost three hundred likes on the video, guys. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Um and like I said like I was trying to tell you guys earlier, um there's a lot more still coming in State of Decay too. And uh to the point where I'm I w listening to Jeffrey and like all the, the ambitions and like I said the, the determination they have to continue to improve this game um, I'm like man by time State of the K3 comes out State of the K2 is going to be a monster game like it's going to be easily we're still going to easily be playing this game um, well after State of the K3 comes out I, I feel Because um, he said that State of K3 and State of K2 are, you know, they're going to be different games, obviously. Um, and I feel like there's going to be space in the world for us to play both, for sure. Watch out, Feral. Where? Whoa, buddy. Oh, there, I got to reload. Give me a second, man. The Pharaoh's got no respect. Bro, you can't Bill Goldberg me when I'm killing a zombie, dude.
Well, you got to think, people still to this day play State of K1, and State of K2 is out, you know what I mean? And obviously, there's a lot of parts of State of K1 that people like more than State of K2. Whoa, dude. You see, you see that guy just trying to sneak up on me? Um, and it would be insane for us to think that, you know, there's not going to be aspects of State of K2 that we like over State of K3. You know, I feel like a lot of games do that, you know, they, they, they take... There's always going to be... They can't bring everything into State of K3. You know what I mean? Um, especially if it's going to be a different type of game. I don't know. We'll just have to see, guys. But Pandalicious, thank you so much for the sub, and I love your name. Man, there's still zombies in here. Yo, these guys are ninja zombies. No sound. You guys seen that, right? There is zero, unless it's just my audio is jacked up. Zero sound of those guys coming up behind me. Keep that streamer quiet. Where is it? What is going on here? Loader alert. Yo, what's up with all these zombies? Uh, where the hell is the play cart in this? Uh, I think it's in here. Yep. All right, awesome. I'm carrying a bit much right now. So be honest, uh, guys and everybody in the chat. How many of you guys? How many of your guys' map looks like mine when it comes to the play cart husks? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget to uh, turn the aimbot on. It, it just it, it's it's hit or miss. You know what I mean? Whether it wants to work or not. I got I got a, I got a bad program. Happens a lot. Yeah, that Shadow of Mordor, that game really, really surprised me. And like I said, when I looked it up, I was like, man, how have I never played this game before? All right, let's see. Um, So I got all of the resources that I wanted to get. How are we looking on influence? Not that great. Um, I'm gonna actually going to go back to base. We're going to get a bunch of stuff. I want to get influence. Yeah, so that that's what I was trying to think because um, the way Jeffrey was talking, he was like, you know, he was saying that State of K3 is going to obviously be a different game um, because a lot of the things in State of K2 don't work. You know, like the, the, the progression system in State of K2 with like legacies and stuff like that. A lot of that stuff where and all of the procedurally generated, RNG, the randomly generated... Um, the 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 randomness of it they they re, you know it was a good idea and now they're like they they're trying to find that hap that middle ground like okay we want to have some of that but not like state of k2 where everything is just random every everything about this game is random you know what i mean and they're going to try to go more into the i think the realm of like maybe having a story and i, I don't know we'll just have to see I, I definitely am glad I'm not in their position having to brainstorm all of this. It's a ton of fun. Yeah, there's there's a lot. And, and the thing is, is I love the randomness about S of State of K2. I, I don't mind it at all. Um, I just... But there is times where I'm like, you know, there is certain things that I wish you could focus on and actually like you know pinpoint like survivors um they're very hard to pinpoint you know people with certain traits and i get it because it adds value to other survivors if you could if like for instance blood plague survivors if you could easily target blood plague survivors it would lower the value of having one in the first place and um i definitely do like you know 
the trait system and all that. As this, like I was telling Jeffrey the other day, I would like to see some type of hybrid to where maybe you can build one of your own characters, but then everybody else's procedure. Give people the chance to you know build like one or two of their own characters and then make everybody else random. And I, I feel like that's like that middle ground, you know, that that happy medium. You know what? Post-apocalyptic life isn't all that bad. Hmm? Why does that look choppy? It's gone now. Alright, so we're gonna grab... Oh, so Emily is our leader. She wants to do her legacy stuff, and I'm like, nope. So the, I would say, if I were to pick, what is the main change of this update? Um, I don't know, because it's all they're all pretty small changes. There's nothing like... But like you can you can see your dead play cards on the map. That's like that's probably like one of the biggest ones. The trunk space inventory uh, is definitely different too. All right, let me see. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to oh. So the the traders here like um, the Trumbull Guardians. That's Ray Santos uh, because my Ray Santos is bugged and will never die. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Tressy and Chavez and um, these guys up here, they're permanent traders on the map. And I actually want to go and see if we can sell them uh, some stuff. Let's grab this Gilded Kirky. I think it's awesome looking. Uh, so we'll get the Halloween masks on the 25th of the month. I thought they were already out, but they're not. Dimitri, <laughs> I appreciate that, man. So the trunk space, um, what they did was, for instance, let me let me see. What's her? She has assault, right? All right, okay. So I'll show you guys right now what I meant by what they mean by the trunk space. So before, um, a survivor with um, assault can hold sixty bullets in her inventory. But what would happen is the trunk doesn't have the assault. Uh, benefit so what Jeffrey was saying was it was really really awkward to have survivors that could hold more in their one inventory slot than a trunk slot could hold so what was happening is if I put these 60 rounds in one of the old trunks what would happen is 40 would go here and 20 would go here but now all 60 stack in one spot and uh, they uh, gas cans um, you used to only be able to put one gas can in um, in a trunk slot, like so, right now in my inventory, I can only hold one gas can per inventory slot. But when I come into a vehicle trunk, you can now stack two gas cans on top of each other. So it, it's it just makes the um it just makes it so the trunks can hold more than survivors, and that goes for toolkits. You can start you can now stack toolkits in trunks, uh, first aid kits. You can stack in trunks. Um, a lot of those one item things that you can only stack, but now you can do uh, two. So it's just a good change. Good change. All right, so we're gonna sell. Let's grab our our goodies here. You know what? I'm actually going to rock the danger dog again. Now that they nerfed my other favorite gun, we're going to go back to my old favorite gun. Devin, with the membership, thank you so much, and welcome to the family, man. I really do appreciate that. Gut bomb. Wow, guys. The, with the super chat. Your content is great. I'll overlook the fact that you're a Marine. <laughs> Just inner service robbery, bro. Hey, man, I understand. I really do, really, really do appreciate that. I got you in the state of K2, so props. Hey, thank you so much, man. Cut bomb, what service were you, what branch were you in? <laughs> army? Well, I was in the army too, man. I did both. I did both Marines and Army. But the um this Danger Dog PPSH guys used to be my favorite gun. It's so good. It uses nine mil and it's very, very cheap. Um so if if you guys are looking for a good gun, definitely check it out. Let me see. So we're going to grab our stamina items, which, and yeah, so that's what I wanted to craft, actually. We, we're going to sit here, and we're going to get ourselves crafted. Uh, oh, I don't think I have a pill press, actually. So I'm going to call in a med trader, and I'm going to try to buy one from... The med trader sells a pill press, right? 
my favorite flavor of crayons probably was the orange one. You guys remember when they actually came out with the flavored crayons? Or no, the smelly crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Markers. No, they had the crayons that smelled good too. I, Cause I would try it, like they had. I would no, eat, you'd bite it and see if they if they tasted like they smelled. <laughs> hey, I got no shame in my crayon eating. <laughs> you gotta own it. That's why you joined. Yeah, that's why. That's why I joined the Marines. Young age. Oh yeah, yeah. We should, actually let, let's do that. That's a good point. Let's go, definitely go get our bounty reward. And I'm gonna bring a revolver with me, and we're gonna go hunt down some uh, plague zombies or uh, armored zombies. So we need that and the forty-five. And I need some nine mil. I said nine mil. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Um, so my favorite gun was this one right here. The, um, the Offspree Red Talon. If you guys notice, I've been using this gun ever since Update 26 came out. It was a max durability 5.56 rifle um, with a, a little bit of a zoom, but it held 60 rounds. Um... And they nerfed it. Now it only holds 30. I don't know why they changed that. Um, it might have been a bug that it had 60 rounds to begin with, which it is what it is at that point. But um, it's no longer my favorite gun because it, that, that was one of the cool features about it was it held so much ammo. Um, but now it doesn't. So it is what it is. It is what it is. We're actually getting kind of low on bullets. We'll leave our... You know what? We don't even need to bring... We'll just bring um, this revolver as our sidearm. I'll bring an extra stack of 9 mil, extra stack of 45, and we'll be good to go. And because it is nighttime, we're going to bring some Zedi with us. Give you guys a little bit of better visuals. All right, I think I can buy a pill press from this medical trader. What do you have to trade? Yes, sure. Yes, thank you. This is a lot of stuff to carry. You got a blood plague survivor? I got a blood plague survivor in three minutes on my uh, my um, guide community. That was it was the fastest blood plague survivor I've ever gotten since I've been playing this game. All right, so we got that. We got that. I want to install the pill press in here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to, uh, we're going to craft a ton of uh, painkillers. I can't do these because I don't have pharmacology. Let me see, do I have a chemist? I think I got rid of my, I got a munitions expert, yeah. Um, so we're just going to do regular painkillers, which is fine. But we are getting dangerously low on meds. Alright, so that took a lot of our med supply. Let's see how we're looking now. Yeah, we're up to 50 bottles of meds. Painkillers, that should be good. We're actually going to buy these rucks. I've got stuff you'll like. Cool, sounds good. That's pretty heavy. Yes, yeah, so uh, Hippo, I love that gun too, but I haven't been able to find one, man. Um, those guns are really, really rare. Like really, really rare. Um, you guys probably the like the uh, what is it? The SSW, the M M. I forgot what the hell it's called, but that's a really, really rare gun, and it's super duper nice. With the Trumbull Trader, got the debug message, and she left. Oh, she actually did leave. Voodoo, how have you been, man? All right, why do I keep trying to drop that in there? And three, so 
First time live watcher, long time. Quick question. Can NPCs fire guns? Yes. So um, uh, all of my NPCs around my base, they none of their guns have bullets in them because, yeah, the NPCs don't have to have any bullets in a gun um, and they'll shoot. This might be too much to carry. Yep. Do you have a non-working back for blood beta icon in Steam? Um, I don't know, uh, God Pact. I haven't checked it, dude. I, I I don't even have that on my my list right now. Uh, I got to get it put back on. Okay, so we reinvested in meds. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because we're about to go trade, and I want to sell these. Um, I have a ton of plague samples, and I want to sell like th two of them because these things are so expensive. To make with meds. Wow. But I think they sell for like 500 influence a piece. Okay, this um, and I think there's a rare skills trader up here. And we're going to go sell stuff to that, that trader. Off again. Later, everybody. Yeah, so we're, gonna, uh, we're going to farm up influence right now big time. That's, that's the goal. Misha, with the membership, welcome to the family. Wait, wait, wait. Tracker, what do you mean? Now that suppressors can go on the Masterwork Assault Rifle. Since when? When did they change that? Dude, that, that's a really big change, man. I just use ZI, just in case you guys are wondering why the screen got brighter. Um, this is what ZI does. Um, it's almost a, a must for streamers. <laughs> I, I rarely use it because I'm bad. I can't carry anymore. The last update? I need to go check this out. Um, damn it, I don't own one of those... Uh, those crafting stations, though, I'm gonna have to ask around in in Discord if any of you guys have one of those um, Trumbull Valley crafting stations that you guys could s trade with me. Because I I won't be able to get one of those until the Trumbull Valley pack comes back around, and that I, that's gonna be a little bit because I think it just rotated away. Oh, Peter, thank you, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I should actually sell stuff to this guy that's standing in my base right now. Um, that is very, very true. Russ Brown, what is going on? What do you have to trade? Yes, yeah, sure. 1,200 influence for sure. Uh, let's go grab some of that stuff out of my trunk really quick. It's called... Oh, what the hell is it called? Does anybody know what it's called? It's the... Um, I want to say it's the Trumbull Valley. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Sweet. What is going on? What do you have to trade? Yeah. Yeah. So we could sell both of these for a thousand influence. That is huge, huge, huge. All right. So we're back up to twenty five hundred, just like that. All right, let's see if there's any other goodies that we want to bring with us to trade. I'll sell that. Sell both of those. I got two biochem stations. It's ridiculous. I usually can't find them to save my life. And now I have two of them. That network DIY crafting station. Yeah, I need to get my hands on uh, one of those. Definitely need to get my hands on one of those. Alright, let's go sell some stuff. Network DIY crafting station. Yes, but that Chris, that is another really, really rare gun. Um, I don't even have one of those on my community right now. And uh, this is my long-term community. Granted, it's a, a pretty new long-term community, but... Uh, yeah, that gun's really hard to come by. Yeah, so if you guys make the bulk play cures you can sell those for a lot of influence now it costs a lot of meds i think it's eight meds per pack but um if you have a med farm you can eat. it's it's probably the easiest way to farm influence
Whoa there. This van is very, very squirrely. But I would like to get... I, I do want to find an infinite rage. I actually might bust the uh, rare... Um, the rare items, you know, rare weapon case map up and go hunting again. See if we can get lucky and get one. But thank you guys. Over 300 likes on today's live stream. You guys really don't understand how huge that is. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys for popping in and saying what's up, hanging out, talking in chat, smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel. Um, I, I really do love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you. Uh, what you guys do for me and my family is I, I, I can't explain it to you. It really really does mean the most it means the most to all of us Yo, that is legit like I literally had to turn my headlights off because I, I felt like they were too much <laughs> Anybody here? Yeah, so yeah, it's the ZEI eye that makes um, the nighttime nice and bright like this But it's about to wear off it doesn't now, and you guys will see the difference. And there it is. And now that's the normal darkness. All right, I'm pretty sure if the person was in here, they would have said something by now. This might take some effort. My breath. Yeah, Cloudy, I do appreciate that. Yeah, Sonny's a cool dude. <laughs> Nut Crystal Minard donated ten dollars. Thank you for supporting our family, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I think I looted that weapon case. I will go check it though. We will definitely go check it. Um, but I came up here because, uh, for two things, this trader and, um, Let me see what you've got. Okay. and I want to hunt down the armored zombies. Last time we came up here, there was a billion armored zombies and watch, watch there be none. I can't carry that much. Yeah. The weekend trader. I haven't, yeah, we're going to be on the lookout for that this, uh, this weekend. I want to see if I can get sure, I an so. infinite rage. Does anybody know how much he charges for him? I've got stuff you like. Yeah, why not? All right, so we are doing fairly well on influence, and this guy still has a ton of influence. So you know what? Let's let's loot this area and see if uh, we can get some crap that we'll just sell him. 1500 wow that that's pretty steep that's pretty steep yes tracker um they did take the red talent weapons out so there is a chance that um we will get uh we have a better chance at getting the, the rarer guns you know what i mean we're just gonna pretty much sell all this crap because i don't need any of it so they have a 50 shot pistol. It is the um what the hell is it called, guys? The uh the Glock the G18 Auto Custom. I've got stuff you like. Yeah, why not? I don't want to just sell the gas though. Gas is definitely not something we want to just give away. The so the they're, they're, the rare traders come on the weekends. Yes, they come on certain days. I think it's Friday through Monday. Yeah, I don't think there's a 75 shot pistol. I know there's a 50 shot one. Unless there's like a, a high level uh, machine pistol that I don't know about. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, where weapon case is still back there. Uh, these blue duffels, too. Um, you, this is where you, you can potentially find the um, Trumbull Valley specific guns. 
And wow, we actually found some good stuff. We're going to go sell. Yeah, the G18, that was, it used to be my favorite gun for play cards when it came to Nightmare Zone. But um, ever since the lethal zone um, changes and stuff like that, the G18 you can't you can't global a play card with it. I think that's. I hear an armored zombie. Yep, there he is. Let me uh, go trade this stuff away real quick. We'll come back up here. I believe you can. Oh, see, daytime the bloater stands up. Ooh, I just noticed I un um keybound my uh what's call it? My uh to change my what you guys what the hell is it called? The fire mode. Yeah, I, I I changed the uh button for that when I made my new crouch button. So I gotta redo it. Um Sure. I don't think X does anything in stated K. Oh, we got a juggernaut. So we do have a lot of viewers today. Uh, most of you guys probably seen my little Hadouken trick. But for those of you guys who are new, I will show you how to kill Gu Jug... Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're, we're wasting armored zombies, juggernaut. I'm going to show you guys how to Hadouken and Juggernaut. How much more can this take? <gasps> Impossible sway. Alright, shit, shit just got real interesting. It's a bad, 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 bad execution there, Swaybe. Okay, we got two staggers, which is cool. We're going to burn these guys. Just loaded my last magazine. Making me waste all these damn armored zombies. Goldberg. No more of that. Whoa, why did, wrong button. Oh, this gun is only fully automatic. I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is that new blade from the Trifecta pack. It's really, really cool. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Let's go sell this stuff really quick. Yeah, so um, the, the Juggernaut just was like, pinned my car up against that thing and just squished it to death. Let's trade. Okay. Legitimately squished my car to death. Yeah, th so that's not how it's done. That is definitely not how you Hadouken in a Juggernaut. <laughs> uh, we have an outpost down the road, so we can go and uh, get a repair kit.
Yeah. So let, let's uh, let's start that journey. <laughs> now we gotta be a little careful because we are stranded. Oh man, armored zombies though. Yeah, let's get our car because at least we can uh, get the hell out of here if we have to. Yeah, fighting the juggernaut, juggernaut in melee is it's 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 not too bad. The only thing is is um they have one animation that is really hard to deal with. They like run at you, and even if you dodge, they like somehow belly bump you to the ground, and then they just pound you. So, oh, we got an armored zombie right here. So this is gonna work towards our bounty. We're just gonna knock his helmet off, shoot him in the face. Got another one. Knock his helmet off, shoot him in the face. Buy a Jeep. I, I don't want to waste any influence on uh, cars. I got tons of them. So this is the OSS Silent Knight. 40, uh, I think it's the 45 caliber silent revolver. I also have the other one, which is the um, the Echo S1, but that's a 22 caliber revolver. Uh, the ammo is cheaper, obviously, because it's 22. Dude, why did you scream? I didn't even. So my outpost right here, we're good. Yeah, it's uh, part of the World War II pack. But we're going to get screamers coming over here. Oh, good shot. Nope, they stopped. The pickup behind me look drivable? <laughs> Where? That one up there? <laughs> yeah, so the um, the Echo weapons are available in the Heartland um, story mode, and you can just trade them over to your main community. But outside of that, there is the only other way to get them is through the... Uh, uh, Trumbull Valley Pack at the Bounty Broker. So let's grab those. Let's grab those. Honestly, I feel like I should be bringing more stamina items. I don't know why I feel like I'm running out of stamina items really, really quick. It's probably just bad play on my behalf. Let's get our pistol press back installed. But yeah, I do feel like I'm burning through uh ammo or not ammo um stamina items now as you guys know the best thing about the silent revolvers is they never jam or break um which in my book that makes them truly amazing okay. all right we're gonna sell that Heavy. and Another waste of time. Alright, let's grab our repair kits. Screw it. That's fine. I'll sell this and that that'll be it. And I believe I have gas in the van. And if not, we could just get some more on our way down. See if we can find some more uh Armored zombies on the way up. So I probably, because of this new update, legitimately, I probably found like 10 rucksacks that I would never got before.
Influence IRL, what would I use for, what, like, what would you mean, what would I use for influence? Um, and no, the uh, Silent Night is from the um, World War II pack. I spotted a plague bloater. Well, that, that's a lot of zombies. Um, well, there's a. I see some. Uh, we need to keep the screamer quiet. Should kill pretty much everything that's not armored. And now I just got a bunch of armored guys. I get the, I, now I got him. So we got what four armored guys? Now this is annoying when you're fighting multi. I hate those things. Come on, dude. Let me play. Let me live my life, Mr. Fair. Holy shit! Killed that damn uh, armored zombie with melee. Shit. Vito, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, man. <laughs> um, let's see if. Yeah, damn it! All the armored zombies went away. Where'd they go? It is what it is. Pedro from Brazil, what is going on? Yeah, now we're gonna have to uh find some more. What would I use as influence? That that's a good point, Hippo. Like what would make a good I always I always think about that. What would make a good currency? In the apocalypse, and I honestly think if there was ever a real apocalypse, I think bullets and like food type things would be like currency. I think bullets would probably make a really good currency in the apocalypse. Yeah. I was in kill mode because of the ferals, so then I, uh,. I didn't even think about it when that armored zombie came up to me. We only got three more we got to kill. <laughs> Sexual favors. <laughs> Bottle caps. Brass. Yeah, brass would be good. <laughs> Toilet paper. Hey. If... We definitely do know it's TP. Like, it, it's kind of crazy how important wiping, wiping your ass is. It, it took a real life pandemic for us to realize how important, how much people cherish wiping their ass. <laughs> so tired. Huh. 
One more. Jonathan, you know it's the beat. Yeah, it, 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 I, you're not lying there. Or hand sanitizer. Uh, no, Ferals can't one-hit kill you in this game. No, not at all. They can do a lot of damage to you, but uh, no, they can't kill you in one hit. Yeah, we just need one more. I heard a zombie. It's not armored, though. I came up here, I swear, guys, we came up here earlier, and there was like 50 armored zombies. It, it was ridiculous. And now... <gasps> I heard you. There you are, dude. See, but I, I feel like TP was, you know, Watch out. That screamer's gonna bring a ton of zen. important. But if it, it was like a zombie apocalypse, you know what I mean? Like, people out in the streets eating each other. I don't think people are gonna be really worried about wiping their ass. You know, like, it, it, this was like a pandemic of, you know, like sickness and everybody kind of hid away. The, but like a zombie apocalypse where like the legitimate world is over. I think it might be, I think priorities might be a little different. You know what I mean? I think at that point, people just go outside and grab a couple leaves, you know, and just wipe it up like that. You know, use the natural TP. All right, let's go sell this uh, hand drill press. I mean, realistically, you could just use, like, water. You know what I mean? Like, go down to, like, a water source. Man, my freaking nose is itchy as hell. Um, you go down to a water source and just, like, kind of, like, bidet your butt clean if you had to, you know? Your hand in a... That, that's pretty savage, man. <laughs> Demented. <laughs> uh I mean, I meant like, you know, I'm thinking about like, you know, leaves out of like trees. I'm not going to grab like random bushes off the ground. All right, so I'm going to begin this only because I, I wonder if it will. Uh... Actually, I've been thinking, guys, about. No, nah, I don't know. I've been thinking about leaving this map and like going to another map and testing out the Haven device in other locations, but I don't know. <laughs> Ted, he, he, he wipes up plague heart husks. It is a good rain. Yeah, true. It is a, yeah, you would kind of ruin a water supply if you were bidet in your butt. In the water. Ted, I do appreciate that super chat, man. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking about moving um, to another map. Grant, thank you so much for the membership and thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really do appreciate it. Well, that's, uh, with this community, I've already done that. Um, I, I messed up the Ray Tant Santos missions somehow, and now I can't finish off Ray's storyline. My fellow soldiers, you know that the Nationals use that left hand. <laughs> hey, hey, exactly, Jonathan. Um, when I was overseas deployed, you, you see people that, you know, you go number two, and they don't have... Uh, they don't use toilet paper. I'm just wait I'm just waiting for this feral to cook. There we go, Haven device. It's 
So we've been jumped, what, twice today, guys, I believe? I think we've been jumped twice by uh, Triple Feral Pack, right? And I, I honestly haven't been jumped by a Feral Pack in a while. Gaming with Castle, how are you? Mm, I, I really want to level up my red talons. I feel like uh, they're not maxed out and it's really, really annoying. Okay, so I don't need the revolvers anymore. Whoops, mistakes were just made. There it is. I dropped my gun underneath my supply locker. And they're so hard to get back when you do this. There it is. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I, I've been jumped a couple times today. Definitely trying to kill me. The game is definitely trying to kill me. Okay, so we need to also get some more parts going. Our, our part supply is very, very low. Mac 10. So we see, are we going to get junk guns that I want to get rid of? Okay, so I don't need three Prepper 1022s. And this is what I do. I know a lot of you guys like to hoard your weapons and stuff, and that's perfectly fine. You know what I mean? I personally, though, I, I try to burn guns that I know I'll just never use, that they're just going to sit in my locker. And uh, I'd rather them serve me as parts than just sit in my locker doing nothing. Uh, I'll def I usually keep one of each gun for the most part. You know what? Let's actually run a 22. We can we can afford to run a 22. Uh, the only problem with the run in the 22 is it has less stopping power than the uh, than the higher caliber weapons when it comes to like ferals and stuff. But Luna, what is up, man? You trade your guns? Yeah. See, I break them down. I I, I personally break them down. I feel like it's easier to get there's it's easier and there's other ways to get influence. You know what I mean? I feel like influence is pretty easy to come across. Um, but parts, there's not there's only quite a, a couple ways to get parts, you know what I mean? So for me it's like I I would rather um you know, use weapons and stuff that I can scrap to get parts because I can just, you know, do a thousand other things to get influence. That's way more uh effective. Grab those and fire. I think I'm actually happy here. That's kind of a surprise. I have a lot of 22. Actually, I didn't even realize how much 22 we we had. I should actually be running double 22. Elizabeth, with the sub, thank you so much. Guys, with all the subs today, I, I really do appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, hey, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the State of K content. And if you are new to the channel, please consider smashing that subscribe subscribe button. It really, really means the world to me, guys. Um, we hit 23,000 subscribers the other day, and it, it, it's it's crazy. I still I still can't believe it that we are at this point. Look at all these freaking suppressors. You guys can tell I like my quiet weapons. Alright, we're going to head down to the bounty broker. Three more likes for 400. Jesus, thank you guys. Chris Summers with the sub. Thank you so much. Cloudy, I do appreciate that, man. Yeah, I had to clean up a little bit. Gamer Gabe, how are you doing tonight? And 
we're good. I love this Jeep. It's so good at off-roading. Guys, my Cash Beaumont, so, for some reason, he's stuck looking this way. Is anybody else's like that? Like, he doesn't look any other direction. Like, that's my Cash Beaumont. He's just stuck. Even even when I <laughs> even when I talk to him, he just looks that way. Go in peace, my friend. I actually might start selling weapon attachments. Here are my available bounties. See what catches your eye. So what is the next pack coming out? Uh the bug out bag. Okay, so we kill six juggernauts. We'll get that going. Um that's five hundred influence. I'll take that all day. Two play cards in close combat. Oh. Actually, I can't take that right now because I don't even have play cards to kill. Jose Torres with the sub. Thank you so much. Kill 30 zombies with vehicles. That's really, really easy. And we already got the welding helmet. I don't know why I can do it again. Six zombies with fire. That's super easy. I wish you the best of luck on this. Um check probably kill six zombies with fire right now. Let me uh Ow, dude. Oh, shit. My bad, bro. Uh, we can actually probably do both of these bounties. Kill the, the zombies with the cars and burn them. Alright, so I only want to burn a couple of these dudes. But I'm going to end up burning a lot of them. Alright, so that's that bounty's done. Mason with the sub. Thank you so much. All right, let me get in my 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 jeep. Um, I'm gonna lure these guys away a little bit because I. So they're gonna totally jump on my hood. It's a fucking feral. Okay, this changes everything. Okay. Hey, Hippo, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out, dude. Um, well, we killed half of the zombies we needed to kill with the car. Um, well, base isn't too far. <laughs> Hello. Allow me to explain the situation. K Grappled Zeds by teammates. I don't ever bring, um people with me we could probably actually go around the base and do that yeah i could carry a repair kit with me but i generally don't blow my cars up like i mean as much as you guys are going to troll me for even saying that i generally don't blow them up like all the time but uh today is just one of those days i guess you know If, if there was a bounty for killing cars. <laughs> Todd H, what is going on? I mean, yeah, I'm not in a good spot to defend myself with my, my car blowing up abilities because today is uh 
Definitely blown up quite a few of them. All right, let's see. Probably the best way is this way. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't usually blow up my cars all the time. Hippo, dude, thank you so much for that. Seriously, and make hey, make sure you get that good sleep, all right? I really do appreciate the super band. Thank you, thank you. Wow, we just got a sighted AK dropped in our supply locker. <laughs> the bounty was for cars also. <laughs> See, I had to get him on fire. I had to get him on fire. Yeah, so no breaks Menard is in the game. I haven't, obviously, I haven't, I haven't tried to find it yet because that would take forever, but... Um, if one of you guys do get that, uh, nickname. Please take a picture of it and post it in Discord so I can see it. That'd be awesome. Kill a vehicle with 30 zombies. See, th that's what I thought the bounty said. Or kill 30 vehicles with the zombie. Hey, Cloudy, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really do appreciate that. So I think we're going to do that. Um, yeah, let me. Uh, oh, that was a good shot. Uh, I think we're going to do that mission right outside my base with the grapples. I'll bring a follower right outside my base, but any farther than that, I don't I don't trust it. Oh yeah, State of K2 has very good music. I'm I'm a huge fan of the music in this game. I mean, I guess we could bring a follower with us to uh Let me grab a 50 cal. Well, damn. Where'd Gene go? I'll, I'll bring Gene, because if he dies, I don't really care. Good to see you. You down to help with something? I'm right behind you. Let's give Gene the 50 cal. Did you ever just drive out to look at wildflowers? Fly around, maybe... I've destroyed two cars today. Two. We should do that. Once the area's clear, we can spare a day. And I think it was this van. Or no, I'm driving my Jeep. I didn't even blow the van up. I blew the van up earlier. I just blew the Jeep up this time. Um, do these take me out of light carry? No, nope, I'm still in light carry. Cool. Let's go. Okay, so let me snipe out this screamer and a feral. One. Two. Got him. And now we'll grapple kill some of these zombies. Okay, this way is gonna... He's not gonna cooperate. I already know. So that's... That's too many zombies to try to do it with. We're gonna have to, like... One zombie at a time. This. Oh no! I can. We can do it with this armored zombie. Hey, come here, dude. Here. Do it. Hit him. Hey. Hey. Dude, hit him. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, that's what you get. Bring a follower. There we go. Jesus, man. Don't. It's gonna be like that. So we're gonna crouch. Um, that should prevent him from just shooting everything he sees. I haven't watched it yet, Caspi. No, not yet, man. And my man is just shooting shit with the fifty cal. It's counting though. No. 
Here, oh, all right. Hey. Yeah, un unequip that, bro. Hey, Ray, thank you so much. Get that good sleep, all right? I seen a juggernaut up top there, too. <clears throat> we'll uh, take care of him. My man is really lagging on killing these zombies. There we go. Now we now we got the the machine oiled up. Bro, what are you doing? Maybe it's cuz I didn't give him a melee weapon. So he's like hesitant on using melee. Seriously, bro. Let me see it. Maybe there's a melee weapon in here I can give him. Nope. One more. Nasty. And Sabrina, how are you? There we go. This is it. And we're going to dismiss him. Oh, hey. What's happening? Catch in a bit. All right, let's go repair our vehicle. He's going to head home. You know, let's just head to the car. Now we got marathon, so we can literally just run for days. I hope you've got that job yeah, it does. It does save a lot of space, Nasty. No, this isn't a glitch. This is um, this is a, a feature. If you have um, marathon and you're under light condition, you can just sprint forever. But as soon as you go out of light travel, um, you start losing stamina. Hey, good night, Sabrina. Thank you so much. Yeah, you could literally just keep sprinting like this. Um, actually, like when you fight, like a thing you could do is like when you're fighting zombies, um, you still lose stamina. But then what you can do is you can start sprinting away to regain stamina. It's it's crazy. Like I could show you right here against this feral, right? If he'll come over here. Hey. The feral's gotta go down. So, like, say I'm fighting him, right? I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging. Dodging. As you guys see, my stamina's going down. But now what I can do is I can just sprint. And gain stamina back. Instead of having to, like, wait. Yeah, the infinite sneak. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Alright, so we got to kill five plague zombies. Close combat is pretty easy. Um, So Isby blew up Jurassic Junction. I don't, they don't tell you exactly how she did it. Um, but I think it had something to do with she made a bunch of noise. And, or she, uh, something hit that, that tanker and it, it, it like created a huge fire and exploded or something. 
So we are running a little low on gas. Should be enough to drive around and kill, you know, a couple zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna rock. I, I'm gonna have my survivors rocking uh, some of the Halloween masks. I see a little trailer over there, right? And that looks like a pretty unique location. Like it's, you know, kind of hidden. And sometimes you can find uh, rare weapon cases and shit in locations like this. So we're gonna go check it out. And we should be able to easily get that 30 zombies. What is this little spot? This little campsite was here in SOD1. RHAC, thank you so much. I am having a pretty damn good night tonight. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I, I've been playing Far Cry 6 too. It's 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 a lot of fun. We're gonna be playing some more of that this week. Um I'm also gonna be playing some more of what the hell is it called? The uh the long dark. But before we go back into the story mode, guys, I got a surprise for you. So if you guys are interested in seeing this. Uh I don't really care about any of that stuff right now. Um if you guys want a nice long dark surprise, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, it wasn't an SD one? Okay. So we gotta kill what? Four more zombies with the car, which we'll be able to pull off right now. There it is. I know we got to The thing is, Carol, I want to start Dead Rising 3 too, so we got to we got to get on it, but there's been so much crap lately. It's so hard to keep up with. Hello. We have bounties in quite a wide variety indeed. All right, so we got that. We got that. I can't do this one cuz I don't have any play cards on my map. Um Complete missions with followers. Jesus. Okay, we've completely finished that, and we completely finished that. So I'm almost done with my bounty packs. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Carol. Everybody's saying that I'm going to like Dead Rising 3 a lot. 484 likes? Seriously? Um, it's Gamer Gabe, I think that would be a really, really cool feature if... Um, if I, not even if all the stuff in the car got ex wrecked. That would be awesome. Um... Now I'm going to show you guys how to how to Hadouk in a juggernaut. Um, I would like for it to uh, at least make all your gas go away. So for those of you guys that don't know, I put a video on how to do this. Hadouken! Oh, 438. Hey, 438 is still awesome. Dead Rising 3 is good. Yeah, because the only thing about Dead Rising 1 and 2 is like, I like to explore the game. I like to sit back, really take my time, and... Um, those games, the way they're designed, which is fine, you know what I mean? That's the whole point of them. Um, but you can't really 
play at your own pace and like explore the map. You got that game is designed for like multiple playthroughs, and it's like I kind of just want to play through the game once and just kind of see everything I want to see. But it is what it is. My parking OCD. All right, let me see how this works. Yeah, you can just back into them, hit them with your car a bunch of times, and they die. Yep, yep. But you got to be careful because, as you seen that juggernaut earlier, blew my car up like boom, like it was nothing. Um, so yes, it is dangerous. There's still, um, it could go wrong, obviously. But if you if you do it right in a nice open area, um, generally you won't have any issues uh, running over juggernauts with the car. But you gotta make sure you hit them with the back. Please don't hit them with the front. They will one shot your car and make it explode. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna swap to Emily and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a follower. I wanna see if this works, right? We'll enlist him as a follower. Got a minute. I'm gonna switch to I'm gonna dump this gear. I wonder if this mission that I'm about to do with Emily will count. Towards that bounty. Dead Rising Three is your favorite too. I wouldn't say life is easy around here, but we're making do. Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, you could bring. Yeah, you've been. Able, I think they changed. Was that twenty seven with the five? I thought they did that in update twenty six, um, twenty uh, six point one or whatever. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's uh, talk to him. Yeah, he's following me around. Uh -huh. All right, let's see if this counts. Oh, I gotta talk to one more. We'll know it. Yes, awesome. I think we've got a handle on living through this. And I think you guys also said if you call in a rucksack, right, that also works, I believe, right? Alexandra, she needs to lo level up her um, wits and cardio. You said it's locked at 30 frames on PC. Oh, that that's grody. Yeah, I hope there's a way to change that because that's not. What are you trying to say about the Red Talon? Who thinks we're going to see Network and Red Talon beef in um, State of K3? And fire. Wow, our, we're actually pretty low on fuel. That's pretty crazy. What's up, little brother? Um, you can uncap in the I and I files. Uh, so everything it fixed, I got linked in the uh in the pin comment there. Uh, one mil. So yeah, check that out. Uh, but they they did break the um, crouch, um, at least on PC, the crouch uh, dodge combination uh, doesn't work for me, at least. It, there's like a delay in it. Okay. All right, let's head out and get these meds. Wow, those are really far away. Holy crap. We're going on a road trip. 
Uh, Todd H, I do plan on playing Back for Blood. I, I played it a little bit in beta, had a really, really good time, and I do, because uh, it's a really easy game for me to play with you guys on stream. Uh, so I do plan on playing some more of that. It's a good flip. I should have grabbed a little bit of gas. We'll grab some right here, actually. Let's say, do I not have any gas cans? Uh, yes, I've gotten the Eternal Rage. I've gotten it, um, I've looted it, I believe, I want to say once out of a rare weapon case. The whole time, I played this game since release, and I've only looted one out of a rare weapon case. And I believe the only other one I ever got, um, I got from the traitor, the, the mysterious wandering traitor. But other than that, that gun is really, really hard to get your hands on. I mean, I had a, when I used to mod the game, um, when I used to use all the mods, I used to cheat myself infinite rages and shit. But legitimately, um, I've only gotten two ever. And right now, I don't have one. Nah, this car ain't going to blow up. I got it, guys. Watch. We're good. You got to have faith. Oscar, how have you been? Oh, it's so nice to see you. That's a car. Hey, Sheriff. We could use a deputy out here. Woo! We got some good air that time. See if there's any medical specific spots, like a bathroom or something. Yep, right here, bathroom. And I've even seen other people starting to use this, like parking their cars up against stuff too. It's pretty awesome. Let's get this done. John Bond, I've, I, I think it's just RNG, man. You might you might just be blessed by the RNG gods um, because yeah, I played this game a lot, man. And even when I was doing my video on how to how to farm the rare weapon cases, um, I ran that run probably 15, 20 times, looting probably 100 cases, and I never got a, a infinite rage. I got a snow fox, but no infinite rage. Yeah, for all vehicles. Hey, I hear you, Oz girl. I, I hear you there. And I hope you're enjoying it. Seriously. No, this update is a full blown update. I have the patch notes. It, uh, Carol just posted uh, my update 27 video. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's like I break down every little detail that's in this. Um, but they made it so you can now see like dead play cards. You can see them on a map. It tells you exactly what's in them. They cha they changed. They fixed indoor spawns for zombies so much better now. Um, the zombies are actually in buildings before you even go up to them. Something. And uh, there was just a, a whole bunch of quality of life changes for real. That shit, uh, the the shit, the six shot shot grenade launcher is, I believe, uh, Undead Lab said it's the rarest gun in the game. Let me see, is there any more meds on my way back down? I don't believe so. Here, no, we already searched that. It's 
So plague zombies, I won't be able to find on this map, which is kind of stupid for me to grab that bounty. Hunter, what is going on, man? So this is, I believe, where... No, this ain't the spot. Where the hell is the... Oh, maybe it is over here. It's over here somewhere. There's a rare weapon location over here. I don't remember exactly where it is. The hell is that noise? Oh, I forgot I had this follower with me. I'm like, yo, why do I hear somebody running? I've got to slow down. Where the hell was that location? By the pier on the other side? Because I thought there was one on this back... Back side over here. I'm so glad I found this place. I love it here. Thanks, amigo. I got the map right here. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, it is way down. It's It's like right over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so zombies, uh, they improve... They improve stealth, so zombies can't see through fences and all that shit anymore. Um, you can actually hide from zombies. Let's see, I think it's up here somewhere then. Yep, here we go. No, no infinite rage, guys. No infinite rage. Why not try my luck? You know what I mean? Let's see, so there's another one. Back here. Philippe, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. All right, let's see. If I if I if I did get an infinite rage though on stream, that would be super 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 streamer streamer luck. <laughs> Sway came through and took the. He, he took all the infinite rages. Who's uh, Eric is saying the next one is it? The next one's a winner. Oh no no no! Get, yep, there we go. The next one is it. Alright, I forgot how the hell we get to this place. I think it's back. Yeah, back this way. You know what, dude? Let's dismiss you. 
Go home. Oh yeah, this was that cool little like cannibal camp thing. Well, the last one was too, but Felipe, thank you so much. Yeah, I can't wait for State of K3. Either. It's going to be really, really exciting. Here it is. Moment of truth, guys. Infinite rage, baby. Damn it. That gun sucks. It's pretty good against Juggernauts, actually. The King Vulture, it's not a bad gun when it comes to... But it's just... It's not viable and lethal. Like if you if you're playing like standard zone, dread zone, um, this king vulture, I would say is it, it, you can use it. It's got really good, really good zoom. But the problem is you shoot this gun one time in lethal, and it's gonna it's gonna cause more problems than it's gonna solve. You know what I mean? Um, so for me, that gun, uh, it, it definitely turns into parts very very nice. <laughs> I'd rather take that that 44 that it uses and use it in a lever action gun that I can suppress. Honestly, if they made it so you could suppress the deagles, um, it, those guns would be so much better. Hunter, I do appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Let's go talk to Race. See if he uh, has any meds and stuff for sale. Um, so the way I look at um, uh, this is an idea I have. Uh, let me know what you guys think. For for <laughs> GG Jonathan, GG. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the dono, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about this idea. So, obviously, there's guns in the game that can't be suppressed. Things like, um, obviously, like the King Vulture. You got things like uh, certain shotguns can't be suppressed. Um, and those guns in the higher difficulties, I'd say, you know, and, and a lot of difficulties. I'd say anything above Dread. Generally, you don't, um, you don't use. And I was like, you know what would be cool for Undead Labs to do? Our home isn't much, but we share what we can. Is if they, if even uh, like revolvers, because revolvers are very, very underutilized. If they added a way to craft a revol, like a suppressor that you could put on those guns, like revolvers, shotguns, um, you know, the 44s, I wish they would craft a suppressor that was specific for those weapons, like their own type of suppressor. Um, that was temporary, like kind of like an SOD one where you could you would shoot up your suppressor and eventually it would break. I feel like if they were to do that um, and add a suppressor in the game that you could put on guns like revolvers and stuff and maybe get a hundred shots out of it and then it would break. I think that would still make it so. Uh, I don't know. I think it would add a lot of. Uh, Depth and it would make a lot of guns that are just really, really good, but nobody uses them because um, they're just too loud. You know, shotguns are really, really great guns, but they're just they're not worth it in high difficulties. Ooh, double bag fuel. We're definitely gonna buy that. Hey, Luis, no problem. But yeah, I mean, I would use a King Vulture if I could throw a suppressor on it. I would use uh, most of the revolvers in the game if I could th if I could throw a suppressor, even if it was a temporary suppressor. Um, when you get to like where I am in the game, uh, you got a ton of resources, so I could I could afford to keep you know spending parts and whatever to make more suppressors. Have you got anything to trade? Sounds like a plan. I honestly feel that all handmade suppressors and improvised suppressors should be temporary. All right, and we'll swing down to Tressy. Uh, she will have meds, I hope.
Because in real life, you can suppress uh, shotguns. Um, I've seen it. You can suppress revolvers. Now, granted, they're more custom. Like for shotguns, um, I've seen people do custom suppressed barrels. Uh, you remove the barrel out your shotgun and you can put a like custom suppressed barrel on it. Um, and the same thing with revolvers and stuff like that. People, people, you can suppress those guns. Um, now, the main thing with like revolvers that that makes them hard to suppress is they don't have threaded barrels like a lot of the pistols that. Well, most guns don't have come factory with uh, threaded barrels, but uh, I, I feel like it, it would be it, it would be cool, you know. Hey, Jason, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate everything you always do for me, man. Uh, you, you do too much. All right, let me heal up really quick, and then we're going to head down. I'm going to grab I'm some... Oh, uh, we got fire, actually. Oh, uh, I guess we can heal with a bandage. An option to make a threaded barrel. See, that would be cr yeah, so just something simple like that. You know what I mean? Where you have, but it, 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 but it only affects that one gun. You know what I mean? Like you, you, and it would give that gun a uh, like an attachment slot. I think that would be really really cool. You know, where you would have to invest, you know, stuff to like thread thread the barrel on this revolver, you know, or or maybe even if you if you if they had like a, a facility function where you could put a suppressor on that gun and it would just be suppressed. But make it expensive, you know what I mean? That way people would invest into specific guns, you know what I mean? I think it'd be cool if they had a, a um a feature in the in like your workshop that allows you to add scopes to guns that don't generally have them. I think that would be really cool too. Uh, like this, this, this attachment um, section. There's so many cool things they could do with this. Like uh, making it so you can, you know, add scopes to guns. Make it so you can add uh, permanent uh, attachments to those guns. I think it'd be really, really cool. But that's the thing about uh, State of Case. There's just endless options of what they could do. You know, to make the game cool. All right, let's go see what Tressie has. It's the apocalypse. Who has time to design silence for revolvers? Hey, man, that's all you got time for. Yeah, I, I, that's the one thing I I, I I talked about that a really long time ago in my State of Decay three um, like wish list video, which I did like forever. Oh, we got another juggy. Um, I would love. We gotta be careful. Um, I would love to see wep more weapon customization in State of Decay three to where you can like personalize your guns a little more. I'm actually going to flip him. Uh, and I guess the other way is pretty jammed up, too. I'll have a little more runway, though, if I flip him the other way. Hadouken! Oh, add bayonets to it? Yo, that would be so crazy. I think that would be stuff for, like, a next game, you know what I mean? Because they would have to add all types of new animations and things like that. If you could, like, melee with your weapon. Oh, that'd be so legit. Like, turn your weapon into a spear. I no, nah, I'm my, I'm definitely not blowing up another card. Not this stream. Not today.
It would take an act of God for, for this car to get blown up. An act of the state of decay gods. Look at Tressie's house all lit up at night. Um, so yeah, the police car upgrades to- I actually have one back at my base. I'll show you when we get back. It upgrades to the Kaiser. Um, it's- it's really not that great. It's a very durable car. But, um, and it's fast. But it has very low storage. Interested in trading? Sure. Well, she only had one bag of meds. That's unfortunate. Good to see you. Have you got anything to trade? Sure. Thought about buying another one of these, but... Hit a jug with just the door? They get I couldn't even... I think it might just take the door clean off, right? Now, this sword looks really, really cool, but that's about as far as it goes. Is, is it is it looks cool? Um, this play card has all of its items still in it. I want to go see what's in there. Guys, you see the bottom of my boots when I run? They're like orange. Hey, I, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to run over Juggernauts anymore, but Juggernauts, even though I can't run, like, because the thing is, you don't need to run them over, you know what I mean? I could fight a Juggernaut in other ways, you know, but Ty, with the sub, thank you so much. Um, the thing about it is, it's like, because I can, I do it type of thing, but it's like, if, if they did make it so you couldn't ram into Juggernauts from the back, um, I just, I just wouldn't, I would just keep driving, you know what I mean? And four. Yo, she, my, she missed. It's cool thing about this gun is it's so quiet. Like that zombie right there didn't even hear me shoot. Good shot. Better shot. Best shot. There we go. Pull me down off the fence. Is that the same feral? That dude hopped the fence so fast. Yeah, they, they 
The game definitely has something against me. Jefferson with the sub. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. They heard I wanted to come down into Marshall and uh, do some looting. I just wanted to see what this play cart had left over in it. Oh, some meds. We, we could sell some of this stuff to Tressie. That was a pretty good amount of zombies, like I said, but these are all because the what's happening now is the buildings are spawning zombies in. And I'm out here making noise, so, you know, every house that spawns zombies are all coming out. And it, it, it's really, really nice. I, I, I really do like it, because it just makes it, there's so many zombies around now. Where the hell did we park? Oh, down the, wow, how the hell did I get that far away from my car? Like, you can see, there's zombies in that house already. So, for instance, right, this building, I don't see any, uh, alright, okay, yeah, so, as you can see, there's already a zombie in there on the ground, or no, that's a wheelbarrow. So, we're about to test out this, this, because this building used to be really, really bad, um, for indoor spawns, this was one of the worst buildings in the game. So, but from my understanding, is being this close to the building should definitely spawn in zombies if they're going to be here. Tariq, what is going on? So let's see. I don't see any zombies. I'm gonna walk in. We're not finding anything in here. Yeah, there are no zombies. So yeah, you can literally scout a house from outside. But yeah, the place looks clear. I want to go in and actually make a. Well, that's a lot of zombies. That's a screamer. Aim for the head. That's chill. GG. That's a screamer. That was my Come on, dude, time. hit the shots. Hit the shots. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something about these guys in order to get in our car. Now, we don't have a whole lot of ammo left on us, but it's cool, because I'm just going to burn these dudes. Demark with the membership. Thank you so much. Yeah, they were yellow. Um... I it's, it has something to do with the Haven device. But yeah, they, they, they turn yellow now. I've I seen that a couple times. I, I think it's a bug. But yeah, sometimes you'll see like golden yellow zombies. All right, Tressy is right over here. Yeah, I think the house scouting being fixed is probably one of the coolest things. You know, you'd walk into a house and then all of a sudden 
You know, you'd, you'd have like 70 zombies just teleported in out of nowhere. And uh, it, it was pretty it was pretty ridiculous. I just got used to it, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a pretty uh pretty passive person, so I'm kind of like, "Ah, whatever." And you know, I just get used to it and just keep it moving. Um, but I can see for somehow it just it's overwhelmingly frustrating. All right, so I think we're good with that. Um I I I got a good feeling for update 27. I I, I am liking it. Like I said, a lot of the changes that they put in, I feel, are really, really good. Nice quality of life changes. Um, and I'm really excited to see what else they do next. Because, yeah, guys, there's definitely more coming. Um, there's a chance we're, we might get another update before the end of the year. Uh, obviously, I don't, I don't know. I have no more information than you guys. But uh, from what it seems, from what Jeffrey was saying and stuff like that, there's... The, the, they would like to get another update out before the end of the year, but obviously, you know, with how everything is and if something they want to implement, break something and stuff like that. But there is a good chance by by the end of the year, we might see something on beta. Um, so that is also possible. But obviously, if stuff's going to go on beta, uh, we're going to test it here on this channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I put out all types of State of K content, all types of survival game content. Um, not just State of K. So if, if you have other survival games that you know you're a fan of, check the channel out. I have so many playlists of games that we've played recently. And um, you, you might see something you like. And uh, if you do, please drop a drop a like on the video. Uh, drop a like on this live stream if you haven't already. And uh, please consider subscribing. All right. And uh, that will be all for tonight. I do appreciate all you guys for coming and hanging out tonight. We got over 400 likes on this live stream, and uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough, seriously. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll be doing another stream definitely Wednesday, which is my birthday, guys. Wednesday is my birthday. I'm turning 32. Man, getting old. Definitely getting old, but yes, my birthday would be, or I'll be streaming again at, at, at for sure on uh, Wednesday. I don't know about tomorrow. We'll have to see how my work goes and all that. But um, people with the sub, thank you so much. I'd like to see colored icons on a map for locations fully searched but not looted. Oh, Mich yeah, that is a good. Uh, that is a good point. That is a good point. But again, guys, thank you so much for everything. Uh, great stream tonight. You you guys are amazing. I am I'm definitely getting old. I'm getting up there. Stuff's starting to hurt. You know what I mean? Like simple things are, are getting difficult, like standing up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I love you guys to death. You guys are all amazing. I do appreciate all the support and everything you guys do. Um, so like I said, smash that like button on your way out. Drop a comment down below if you guys are watching this afterwards. Gideon with the sub, thank you so much. And um, if you guys do, I, I usually don't ask because I, I, I feel wrong asking you guys. But if you guys do want to support the channel um, and help us towards that goal of going full-time on YouTube, hit that join button. Um, there's a bunch of different cheap tiers of membership uh you guys don't have to by any means you just being here is enough for me um but if you guys do want to go above and beyond and the only reason why i'm saying this is because i had four people come to me and tell me that they didn't even know this was a part of youtube or a part of my channel so i don't know if there's other guy people out there that just don't know that that exists on the channel so um if you guys do want to check that out hey go for it if not hey it's perfectly fine like i said you guys just being here is enough for me um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next live stream. Peace.